Hi, welcome to my video. I just want to say that I really like using Fedora, but I don't know, like, back in my mind, it's like, I feel like I'm gonna go on our distribution <laughs> in the future. And I don't know why. Like, I try to stick with one distribution. I think I have, really. Like, it's mainly Arch Linux. I really like Arch Linux a lot. And I do miss Arch Linux a lot. And it's not that I have anything against Fedora or anything. It's just... Something about Arch Linux I really like a lot. You know, like... I, I like... I like the community based style to it, you know what I mean? Like I, I it's not a it's not run by or sponsored by a, a big corporation. And I'm not saying like Fedora is bad because it's sponsored by Red Hat and Red Hat is owned by IBM. But these corporation kind of distributions to me like I find they're they're trying to focus so much on the server part and they don't really they kind of lose focus on the end user. Maybe I'm not on the right distribution. Maybe I should stick with ones that focus mostly for the, you know, user people, the user base. Because um, Arch Linux Gen 2 distributions like this is basically really focused for, you know, the users. I mean, you can, you can use these systems for servers and a lot, but their main focus is just running, running a great Linux distribution for users like like us, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people that uses them for like servers, stuff like that, but if I follow use a server, I probably use, if I, if I was gonna go with a Linux base, I'd probably use Fedora or even Red Hat. Um, Fedora mostly, I would probably use for servers or even Debian, Debian Stable would probably be a good choice as well. Um, I say Fedora, but when I say Fedora, I mean like Silverblue and Atomic desktops for servers. Uh, I think they would be really great for servers, like the Atomic desktop. I'm not talking about the, just a regular distribution like Workstation or or the, the Spins. I'm talking about like Atomic desktop and Silverblue. So I mean by with Fedora and Debian Stable. Obviously, just Debian Stable is pretty stable. Um, or even OpenBSD would probably be good. FreeBSD would be another one. Um, also, OpenSUSE. I wouldn't go with Ubuntu personally. It's not that I have anything against Ubuntu. I just I don't look at Ubuntu as a server kind of desktop, even though they're, they're really pushing hard to, you know, be like Red Hat or compete against Red Hat. I don't know. I just think, like in their latest release, they don't seem to have a shift like their focus shift is not doesn't seem like it's on the user base you know what i mean like um but whatever you know they're gonna do what they're gonna do right yeah, that's canonical but i'm not really impressed with their overall uh direction and system and all that like i i don't hate them i just gotta not use it i'll, I'll probably still test out their new stuff in the future as i always do but I, I want to be positive about everything I test out, but I mean, I do have opinions and sometimes not everybody's going to agree with my opinions and I'm sorry if you're going to thumb down my videos, go for it. Like, I, I'm not here to please everybody. I can't please everybody and I know that for a fact. And even on Reddit, like, if I put my personal, like, thought on things or just my own opinion, people will just downvote me because they just are such, like, you know, big fans of these distributions. Like, they treat it like if it's a religion or something. And it's kind of weird, I find, in my personal opinion. But, hey, everybody's different. I used to be like that with Arch Linux years ago. I used to be like, everything sucks and Arch Linux is the best. I, I still really like Arch Linux a lot, and I do miss not using it anymore i i like fedora as well but i i really miss arch linux and i have a feeling i go back to it but um <laughs> or maybe just put it on one of my computers um i don't have to use fedora on everything you know what i mean i could probably use fedora on my b-link which runs because i use i like fedora on my b-link because it runs really well i think on my 
on on this PC right here, my uh, desktop, where I do all my screencasts, and I, I think I should run Arch Linux on this system. Um, I do have Windows on the system as well, so I mean, um, I don't really use Windows to be honest. I could just take off Windows and put Arch Linux and have Fedora and Arch Linux on this system, but I don't know. Trying to make a, a decision here, but I, I do miss Arch Linux a lot, and it's not that I'm a fanboy of Arch Linux. I just I really like the system, and obviously like people that watches my channel or people that knows me in general like or like know I like Arch Linux a lot, and I'm I'm a big fan of Arch Linux. I'm not wasn't too I I jump off Arch Linux because I was you know like kind of worried about the back door and all that stuff, but. I don't know. I I don't think Arch Linux is a bad system. I think I think Rome release could be like a little bit like you know like taking a risk on your system and stuff like that. But other than that, like if you know what you're doing, like I'm sure you're okay. And I mean, besides Linux is Linux. Um, yeah, I I, I do miss Arch Linux a lot. I like Fedora too as well, but I don't know. <laughs> it's hard. It's I don't know. It's still all of it's all good new Linux behind behind every each distribution. It's good new Linux, and that's what I like about it a lot. I just I just like Arch Linux the way it's uh, simplicity a lot. I mean, Fedora is pretty good too. Right? I won't don't get me wrong. Fedora is really great. Um, I, I I probably just have a bad habit of distro hopping. I hadn't hopped yet, but. It feels like I have a bad habit of digital hop, but even though I try to stop it, like it's like I need to try different systems. Like I don't know why. I, I, I have a hard time sticking to one system. Maybe there's a system I haven't found yet, like that says like yes, I really like the system a lot. Um I do like Fedora a lot, but there are things that like I don't really care too much about is you know, the big corporation thing of Fedora. Um like Red Hat and all. I mean, if I was if I was a developer and doing some big things with Linux, probably sure I, I would really promote Fedora a lot and be proud of using it. But I'm just a user. I mean, like uh, I I like it. I think it's a great system. But I kind of feel like it doesn't. This distribution doesn't fit like the kind of person or uh, the kind of computer user I am. You know what I mean? I think Arch Linux fits more like the style of what I do with computers, you know what I mean? I, I think it, it just fits me more because I am more of a community kind of person and uh, I like to be active around the community. I like to, you know, help people out if I can. That's great. And I like people helping me out or teaching me stuff because I don't know everything either, you know. I, I like to learn, so that's the thing. And I think Arch Linux is a great system because I... I I actually could also use my Gen 2 setup. Um, Cause Gen 2 worked okay on this system. Actually, I think I'm gonna go back to Gen 2 instead of Arch Linux. I think I'll go to Gen 2. <laughs> I actually like Gen 2. I, I, I have my stage four. I can actually just pop in my stage four and put it on this system as well. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna, um, use my Gen 2 system. I do, I do have a setup with GNOME, but I can install KDE on it as well. Um, I have the stage four, so I can just basically easily make a setup. Um, yeah, why did I left Gen 2 on this box? I had no problem with Gen 2 on this box. I had problems with, with, with it on the B-Link. The reason why I put Fedora on this box is because I wanted it to be consistent. But I don't know. We'll see. I might go back to Gen 2. I might go back to Arch Linux. Like, I probably could put both. I probably could put a Gen 2 and Arch Linux system on this system. But they're both roll and release. So, like, I would hate to always have to reboot and update this system. I think I'm going to just keep Windows on one of the hard drives and just put another Linux system on this. Um, I think I'll, I'll probably go with Gen 2. But I might go with Arch Linux as well. So, um trying to make a decision on which system I go with. Arch Linux is great. I find it's a lot easier to update and maintain compared to Gentoo. 
Gen 2 takes a while sometimes to, if you don't update it like often, like you're gonna have some really big like updates and it will compile for quite a while. Even if your computer is fast enough to compile, it will um, it still will take a long time. But I do like Gen 2 a lot. I think it's a great system. Um, I don't know. I miss. I miss them. I miss them. I miss. I miss Arch Linux a lot. <laughs> uh, I probably will download the latest Arch Linux ISO and probably pop it on this computer. And I'll use Fedora on my B Link. I'll still use Fedora though. I. I. I I'm not gonna ditch Fedora, but I think I'm gonna put Arch Linux on this box here. On um, this is the computer I used to do all my screencasts and videos for YouTube content. So. I don't know. I, I probably will stick with Arch Linux. I do. I do use Arch Linux on my Steam Deck. So I mean, it's not like I don't use Arch Linux. I still do. It's just not in the way that I want to use it. I, I want to use it as a user uh, operating system. And I, I like Fedora. And I, I was like, I feel like I'm leaving Fedora, but I'm keeping it on my feeling. But I feel like I'm gonna probably put Arch Linux on that as well. But I had some problems with Bluetooth with Arch Linux, and I noticed people had some problems with Arch Linux with Bluetooth as well in the past, so I don't think I'm the only one. But I'll leave Fedora on it because Fedora runs really well on that system with the B Link. So I, I'm gonna put Arch Linux on this computer here and have Fedora on the other system. So I'll have both systems because I do like Arch Linux and I do miss Arch Linux. And I want to play around with Arch Linux again. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing on my days off um, in a few days. So I will pop in, I'll be popping, popping, <laughs> I'll be popping Arch Linux on this box here. And yeah, so that's, that's, that'll be the plan. Anyway, this is my little rant. And uh, I'm glad that you guys are enjoying my videos. The ones that like my videos, I'm glad, like, I I make videos that you guys like, so that's that's good. I know I can't please everybody, and I do the best I can to just make good content. But I ain't professional in, by any means, so um, that's just the way I am. I, that's the whole point of Homebrew Hub, man. Like I'm I'm very janky, <laughs> like a janky setup. Anyways, guys, take care. Have a good one. Cheers.